This is just your old fashioned telephone cord. I'm just going to cut this off. I do it back here and just in case I come up with a use for that. And you can see there are four wires inside of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this. And I'll pull this out. I'll try to pull it apart like that. Let's say I want to use about this much of it. There's one of our wires. There's another. Let's pull it out. And then we have a red and a black over here. These are great for all kinds of different things. But right now, there's still wire inside of them. And so we have to get the wire out so that we can use this for spark plug boots, spark plug wire boots. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to shave this off a little bit. I'm going to fold the wires out. Like that, and pull the insulation back. Try to dig out those wires. I have a stripper, but this really fine stuff, it just tends to just tear the wires rather than strip them out. But we can grab these and just I'll grab them with my forceps. Just like this. And then we'll just work this a few times and try and get the wires out. There we go. Looks like there's one more left in there. Now, we got fuel lines, we got uh, heater hoses, I don't know what you want to use it for. But all these really fine wires that came out of it, you can paint them to be other things. Like right here, we have a, uh, a yellow one. I painted this one to be yellow. This is going to run power to the coil on my little GMC. And it's great because I can bend it like that. And, you know, I can make it go where I want it and it'll stay there. I also have a, a violet one for my oil sensor. I have a green one for my water temperature sensor. And then I have a silver one that's looking a little coppery at the moment. But... It's going to be for my vacuum advance line. But you can cut these off however long you need it. And maybe you want to run some wire in it, harder wire in it, like this. This is a fuel line that I made. It's two metal lines with a hose connecting them. I haven't painted the hose black yet, but I could have used the black one and not painted it at all. And this is just craft wire. It's just some stuff that I had laying around. Uh, but here's a piece of it. Here's uh, another kind of craft wire that I've already stuck a little piece on. You can use a sewing needle, insert it in here, and then kind of push it to spread it. Oh, you could take a piece of this craft wire. I'm not really certain it could be 24 gauge and you can just push it right in there so you could use this craft wire for spark plug wires and have boots or like I did with this a fuel line with a little rubber hose so that's, that's your options and you can 
spread it more it, like if you just need a little piece you can spread it more so that you can slide it all the way on put it wherever you need it but it also works well with uh, fiber optics I have some very fine fiber optics uh, that I'm using for plug wires on on the distributor that I'm making and they will take paint well so it'll make a nice distributor uh, that is the distributor right there that I made and as now I can make all of these fiber optics become plug wires and a coil wire and they'll have a nice curve to them and I'm going to put boots on them when I put them into the holes so that I'll have my plug wire boots I'm working on the steel pump right now what I'm doing is I am boring indents into it with this pin vise so that I'll have a place for my fuel lines to kind of set in there. This one uses uh, a supply line and then it has a feed to the carburetor. So all I'm doing is just this, make a little dent in there for the wires. This wire I have just laying around, I think this is what I'm going to use for my fuel line, which goes kind of like this, and it goes down here, and over to the fuel filter, fuel pump. Let me snap that off. Now on my truck, previous owner had cut it, I think, for a filter. But right now there's just a hose. So I was thinking about just using a little piece of this insulation from a telephone wire. Get that started. Just like that. I'll snip that off. Poke this in here. There we go. So now you can see I got a little piece of fuel line. I'll paint it black later. <clears throat> Not sure if you can see. Uh, it is genuinely in there. I'm just going to cut this off right here. For now, I do need to get the carburetor on there. I've already kind of made a dent in it where its uh, fuel line has to go like this. And the way this carburetor would be is there would be a filter right inside there. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off about right here. And then I'm just going to kind of shape it to kind of match what's on my truck. Just like that. so that it can go into my float bowl. That will go in there like that. And it'll look a lot like on my truck. I will paint the carburetor before I put this on because this is going to get in the way. I need to make it drop down a little. That's looking about right. Now it needs to bend this way. Go around the front of my valve cover. Oh, I did it a little too soon. 
All right, looks mangled on my truck too. like that and then it goes down like that it's getting there GMC also uses a green wire for the water temperature sensor. And so, I'm going to make a green wire. And this water temperature sensor wire has to go in before I put in the, the fuel line. It goes underneath the fuel line in the vacuum advance. I'm just going to put these in the truck bed so I don't lose them. There's my green. There's my silver. I'm also planning on using this telephone wire stuff for making uh, my heater hoses. The diameter seems big enough for the three quarter inch, but a little big for the five eighths. I might have some craft wire like this that might work for the 5 8 heater hose 